Hey team, so I just wanted to make a really quick video after listening to Lindsay Matway's call last night. If you guys have not done that, I suggest doing that today. I'm not even joking. I took six pages of notes and I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to re-listen to it again. But anyways, from her video, I or from her call, I had an idea that I wanted to do with you guys and I'm going to do it too and I'll post my um my stuff in the group after I do it but she has her coaches make a list of 10 qualities they want in a coach so if you were to think of the perfect coach what would that coach be what kind of qualities would they have would they be um really into fitness would they be a mom would they be self-driven would they be um a stay-at-home parent would they be um self-motivated, um, any kind of qualities that you would want in your perfect coach or in a coach, I want you to write those 10 things down, whatever they may be, and everybody's going to be different. We, we all have different qualities that we are looking for in our coaches just because we all are different. So we all are going to have different qualities. So I want you to write down those 10 qualities. Really think about it. What, what would your your perfect coach be? What would those qualities be that you want in your coaches? And then I want you to go through each one and rank yourself one to five on those qualities. So this will definitely show you where your weaknesses are and where your strengths are. And we can either go about this two different ways. You can either work on strengthening your strengths or you can work on strengthening your weaknesses. So Figure out what your weaknesses are, figure out what your strengths are, and then work on those. When you know that, you guys, you will start attracting people who are like that. You'll start attracting people who have the same strengths as you. You'll start attracting coaches with those qualities that you want for your coaches. You just need to know what those are. If you don't know what kind of qualities you want in a coach, you'll sign anybody, and they might not even be what kind of coaches you want. Um... So that's my number one thing I want you guys to do. Number two thing is I want you to sit down and describe your perfect customer. So it's kind of like making an avatar of your perfect customer. How old would they be? What would they be doing? Like, what do they do for a career? What do they like to do? Um, what kind of hobbies do they have? Do they want to lose a lot of weight or only five to 10 pounds? What do they do, do for a career? Are they female, male? Are they old, young? Do they have kids? Are they parents? Are they newly out of, um, a newly married? You know, like what are those qualities you are looking for in your customers? Because that is your target customer. When you know your target customer, you can start attracting those kind of people into your life. Um, if you don't, the same thing goes. You're just attracting all these other people and you're not, you're not clicking with those because we can't click with every single person we meet. We can't make every single person happen. We, we can't help every single person succeed because if our, um, if our personalities don't click, it's a lot harder. So I want you guys to create your perfect customer. Create the customer that you want to help. Every little detail. It doesn't matter how many details they have. Um, so those are my two things. And I just wanted to leave you guys with this. I am here to help mentor you every step of the way and I'm not going to nag on you and I said this before I'm not going to constantly check in on you guys um, yes if you're a newer coach I will do that and we'll get on calls weekly but for those of you who are older I will move when you move so if you want more of my attention if you want more of my help you need to show me that you need to reach out to me and let me know that if you if you walk, I'll walk. If you run, I'll run. If you're sprinting, I'm sprinting right behind you. If you stop, I stop. So that was something huge I got off of Lindsay's call last night. And there's one of me and there's almost a hundred of you guys. So if you want my time, I'm here and I'm willing to give any of you guys my time. Anybody. I am here to work a hundred times harder than anybody to make sure that you guys are achieving the dreams you want but you have to come to me you have to I'll meet I'll always meet you halfway always meet you halfway so those are just some little things I wanted to go over I can't wait to see what your guys's um little assignments are I will post mine after I post this video so have a great day